Whoa! What happened to your face? What's going on, family? Dublin Otisun here, and welcome back to Skyrim. Need something? <laughs> yeah, need a better intro. <laughs> I love that one. All right, Cicero. Oh, I do wish to get to know you better, but I must tend to mother. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can talk for just a moment. All right, family. So we are still take care of the Muiri contract in the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> oh, not Mother's Truth. I'm taking that. Go. Take care of the Muiri contract. There will be. Well, as she keeps saying, go take care of the contract. That's what we're gonna do. So let's head on out. And go f meet this chick. And head straight inside. Is there a dog? Hey! Hi, puppy. What do you need? Well, aren't you? Good cute? afternoon. It can't be helped. All right then. Hmm. All right. Oh, nice shop. Seriously, like, built into dwarven runes? There we go. Nice. You hear that, family? We all get used here. It's living with it that makes you a woman. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brotherhood has come, Yuri. The Dark Brotherhood. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. <laughs> what I need, what I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin, Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Excellent. Once Wait, Elaine is dead, payment? I'll pay you. No. In gold. I saved it works. Up a bit. I hope that'll do. A life for a life. Well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. If you can. I want you to kill someone else, as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. Oh? It's Nilsine Shattershield, in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies, too, I'll make it worth your while. Make them all pay for what they've done to me. The Whoa! Here for all your what the fuck happened to your face? Sorry. There you go. Hi. My daughter died 
Things won't be the same without her. Yeah. About that. Well, time to hit the old dusty trail. Big some bitch. See my horse just running over there? Well, I'm gonna kill this bitch. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Frosty beard. Gotta be the cold and wet mod. That must be it. I'm gonna say it before I fall off. You guys gotta feel pretty safe up here. You're probably thinking there's no way an assassino is gonna come all the way up here. They don't know my level of dedication. Dwarven runes up in the snowy mountains. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah! Is that a guy? Are you a guy? I think you're a guy. take my work for the Brotherhood very seriously. <laughs> Look at that shot! Hell yeah!
Bam! Throat shot. Uh, that's... That's the path, huh? <laughs> Bam! This is where they expected me to come from. Like any normal person who would take a road, not climb the other side of the fucking mountain. <laughs> Someone could be there. Everyone should come running. Everyone should come running. Ah, thank you. I'm wondering how to get down. Is someone there? Someone could be here. There you go. I can't believe I missed that. Whoa! Ha <laughs> Dusty. Did you see that, madman? Seriously, you want to talk about it here? Sworn agent, All right. here in the city. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. How can I and I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. you really should forget me. All right, let's go talk to Astrid. Salt. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? I live only to serve Hell Sithis! Oh, very good. Very good indeed. You, my dear, are going to fit in here quite nicely. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... Mm, Personal nature. Are you coming on to me? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Erratic? Well, erratic would be yeah, an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You must understand. If Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber 
and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. Oh, that's sacrilege. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. <sighs> Fuck. Right then. All right, looks like we gotta do this. Oh, the Iron Maiden. Oh, I gotta break in. I don't know why I thought that it wouldn't be locked. Oh, huh. Now you got way more room than you need. This poor guy's lugging around this massive iron tomb. But literally, look, look at that. Look how small she is. <laughs> Are we alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. Mm. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. <laughs> oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor oh, Cicero, dear Cicero, such a humble servant, but he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will yeah. speak to you, for you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. When silence dies. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? what? I. What treachery! Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery, more trickery and deceit! You lie! 
the Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Man, you gotta stop screaming. She... she said that. She said those words. To you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Darkness rises when silence dies. Yep, that's what she said. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know, mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then, it's true. <laughs> She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Astrid's gonna be pissed. <laughs> My sit this this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh my god. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? Yeah. What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Yeah, fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you? Mm -hmm. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? Yeah. And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yeah. By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Valenrude, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, mm. I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will mm. not have my authority so easily dismissed. Got a cause for problem I there. I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Uh -uh. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> Alright, family. We're gonna leave it here. We just finished our first assignment from the Dark Brotherhood. We completed our first contract for Sithis. And we spoke to none other than the Night Mother. Oh, yeah. So when we come back, we'll either keep killing for the Dark Brotherhood or maybe go continue the Winterhold uh, College. Which ones would you guys like to see? Tell me in the comment below. Or would you rather me go to, like, to Companions or something? Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. And we'll pick it up from there. So, good night, Night Mother. We're gonna take it off. We're gonna take off here. Well, family, if Sithis doesn't claim me tonight, I will see you tomorrow in the next episode. You guys drink one for me, I'll drink one for you. Take it easy, family. <laughs>